Hey guys, it's uh, see if we can get this project a little further for the uh, coming clamps. Bit of steam breath again today. <laughs> it's nothing unusual. Anyway, to remind you, when I left the last part two, this was a test bolt that I'd turned down eccentric. And I just dialed in a millimeter offset, which is uh, what, 39 thou. And this turned down to about four. I'm trying to think now, just checking on my notes, uh, 425, I think it was 425 or a bit under. But I'd gone to the point of clearing the uh, wider section, so I went under size. And to get down to 3 eighths would uh, make this wall thickness too thin. So the thinking here is, here's a fresh bolt. Now the minimum... Let me measure there just for a minute. That that is across the minimum wall thickness where the hex, call it a point on the hex, and that's exactly an eighth, one, two, five. So I'm reckoning I'll turn it down to try and reach uh, four, three, seven, five, or just a smidgen under, which is uh, seven sixteenths. Uh, which means I won't turn it down quite as far, but I still want to get the thick side, get rid of the knurl effect that's on here. So I've set the four jaw up for an offset of 30 thou. I've got one or two spare bolts, so I'm going to try 30 thou and uh, see where we go from there to get enough eccentric offset. And the other thing I've realised, I wasn't really quite clicking last time, these are all bored through clearance for the uh, 10 mil. Now, of course, what the photograph didn't show in the last video, the, the ones that I showed you on the still picture, uh, they showed you these with the uh, cap screw head actually within, but what it didn't show was the size of the hole underneath. What they did, or he did, he left a slight shoulder at the bottom, which I've talked about before, which is about, probably about 80, 80, 90 thou, maybe as much as 100 if I take a bit off the top of this. But the clearance hole has to be bigger than clearance. And <laughs> that's the whole point. Uh, so I was being a bit bit thick on that. To get the eccentric effect, the head has to turn around something larger than the clearance hole, obviously, so it can work around that clearance hole as the uh, eccentric head moves. That's all it is. So I hope I'm right on that. <laughs> we'll see how it works out. So I'm going to do um, a test turn on one of these cap screws and uh, see how that works out. I'm just taking five thou cuts and uh, see how long it takes to get down as far as I need to go. I'll check the dimensions on the way. These are pretty hard so uh, I'm only going to take the small cuts. to see where I go on this first one and if I can get this if I can get this one right the others won't uh, take quite so long I'll just do a quick check before I put the mic on there and that's down to four about 480 
So we've got plenty of meat to go. Anyway, I won't bore you with this all the way through. I'll get down towards near the end of the cut and uh, come back to you. Now this looks a bit safer on the wall thickness as long as there's enough camming effect, which I hope there will be. If not, I'll have to try another bit of off extra offset. This should be the last two and a half foul to get down to 430. Uh, no, 435, which should be just clearance in the uh, 7 sixteenths when the end mill's done its work. Still may not be enough, but I'm taking it easy at the moment. Let's see where we are. 25, 35. That's pretty much on the money, actually. Give or take a thou. So I think we're okay on that, and I haven't got a mirror. Got a big mirror somewhere. Can't tell whether that shows what I want. I'll take it out and show you in a moment. Well, it's quite a difference here between the uh, two samples. There's the original. That's the new one. Now, it may not look as though there's a great deal of difference on this one, but it's actually 30 thou. We go from, uh, let me see, from 70 thou there to 100 thou there. So what I'm thinking is, although it doesn't look very much, and I haven't checked the photograph to see how much the other guy put on his, but when you think about it, when you turn this to get the camming effect, uh, you don't really want the offset difference to be too great otherwise it's not going to lock up so easily is it so I think I'm going to go with this I'll get the other bolts done um, so we're at 7 16 clearance uh, 435 so that gives us a couple of thou clearance so that then leaves uh, shall we say 27 28 thou for the camming so if they're set up properly for, on the T-slots originally to, to, to be a, a close contact fit, the camming should be enough and uh, hopefully it'll lock up. We'll have to have some, probably a little bit of lube inside the brass so it doesn't wear away too quick. Although there again, lube might be a disadvantage. We'll have to see. They're not going to be used that often. Anyway... <clears throat> Um, we'll get these other bolts done and then hopefully we can move to the mill and I'll relieve the what was the 8 mil clearance hole I'll relieve those to a suitable size when I can see what the uh, amount is needed to get the full effect alrighty <clears throat> there we are um, that's all six of them. Once I had the settings for the first one, uh, they're only taking a couple of minutes each, and I think they're plus or minus half a thou, so they should all be just undersized for the 7 sixteenths. So what we'll do now is um, get the chuck set up on the mill and uh, find centre on one of these buttons, and then we can uh, put the mill down. Well, this is all I've done for setup. It's pretty primitive, really, but adequate, I think, for what I'm after. Uh, I've used the 8mm to unlock the uh, quill a minute. I've set the 8mm drill in there and check the uh, Uh, 
it's pretty well okay. So I'll take the chuck out. I've locked up the X and Y. So we'll get the chuck out and put the uh, milling cutter in. All right, this is the first one. So I've set the DRO to zero. I'm going to go in 300. Let's get some revolutions. I'm going to try 700. get one of the bolts and see if it'll fit. Since I turned them there's a slight burr at the bottom there. I've just got to dress those off. But uh, let's just try this in here. About a thou, a thou and a half of, maybe two thou actually. Okay. Pleased with that. Get the other one, the other ones done, and uh, move on from there. Okay, number six. series. It's got to clear up, got to clear up the mess. <laughs> All right, the uh, thing to be decided next is uh, with these Obviously, at the moment, the uh, oh, incidentally, this <laughs> that's disconnected now. <laughs> I haven't got to mess around with that anymore. You can see that if uh, if I try and get this in now, obviously it won't. So the discrepancy between the center line and one side, the plus side and the minus side, is the uh, is the amount that I've got to increase this clearance hole. Not very much and I'll find what size it is and then probably use this setup and either put an end mill down or a drill. So I'll come back to that when I get uh, sorted out. Well I took the uh, <laughs> I took the two dimensions the offset on each side which is obviously a plus and a minus and I got 40 and 75 which gives 35 difference and I've divided that by 2 so I'm looking to gain 17 thou over and above the 8 mil and I've just put a hole through with the uh, I've actually used a letter Q which is 332 which is almost exactly 
almost exactly what we want and uh, I'll check that and see see how it looks whether the theory and practice will match up I don't know so I'm going to put this put this through and it looks as though we need to go possibly I can't quite get 360 I can't quite get 360 which is what we need to do so I'll have to go up a size so the theory wasn't correct so go up another few thou this may not be enough, I've just gone up 5,000 from a Q to an R. We'll try it and see. Oh, it's not running very true, is it? Only trouble is with inexpensive drill sets that you don't always find the damn things run true. Oh, that's terrible. Let's look for something better than that. Trouble is, a good number and letter set of drills is very expensive, so my uh, inexpensive set gets me out of trouble. But I've had one or two of these that don't run dead true, and in fact, to be honest, I don't think this uh, Grizzly Chuck is 100%. I haven't done a complete run out check on it, but I don't think it's ideal. So uh, it'll have to do. But anyway, I've gone up from a Q, no, an R. To 11.32, so I'm actually putting 11 thou on. I'll see what happens with that. It's not over critical. And we'll see what we've got from this one. And uh, whether this will be enough. In fact the shoulder at the bottom could even be dispensed with but I prefer the idea of having a limit for the uh, cap screw. Here we are. I think we're there. It seems to... I still haven't got rid of the burrs on these incidentally. <laughs> I i still got this little burr at the bottom, but anyway, that would appear, let me see if the uh, thread runs true, so I think we're good to go on that and I'll get the others done. Right, this just about finished these, I've got a bit of um, Slight, slight chuck marks on these in places, <clears throat> which I could have avoided, I suppose, but anyway, the uh, rotation is nice and free. I'm trying to get a good angle on that. That turns freely. And get a bit closer on that. So that basically is a 30 thou out of centre, which I hope will lock up fairly well. I've still got to put a still got to put a slight uh, chamfer on these edges, finish them off, and then we've got a piece of. Let's just come back a bit. I'm too too close. And then uh, we got this piece of. 5 16 3 quarter, I cut a 7 inch piece off and we'll try and get that set up soon and uh, machine each side uh, to make a T-slot profile and then cut that up into 1 inch segments and decide where to put the threads. So we're getting on slowly. I think I'll call it a day on that for now and maybe put these bits together for um, for a part 3 I think it'll be, won't it? 
I guess I'm losing touch with how many parts I've done. Anyway, that's it for now, guys, and I'll be back hopefully fairly soon. Thanks for watching. <laughs>